We live in a data-centric economy. Nearly every activity in which we engage results in data being collected about us. A lot of this data is sensitive, can reveal information about our habits, our opinions, our health, our education, our social relationships, and much more. Data privacy refers in general to our ability to control what data is collected about us and how it can be used. With so many products, services, and processes collecting information about us, questions surrounding privacy are becoming increasingly diverse and challenging. A recent Pew survey found that a large majority of Americans generally feel they have lost control over their data. The mechanisms we've traditionally relied on to help people control their data are no longer working to the extent they ever have. No one would ever be able to read the text of privacy policies associated with all the technologies and processes with which they interact. A typical smartphone user with 50 or more apps on his or her smartphone would have to find time to understand and configure over 100 privacy settings if he or she wanted to control all the data collected by these apps. My research aims to improve this situation through the development of new technologies and the building of models to better understand people's concerns and expectations and to also inform public policy. One of my research projects is asking a fairly simple question. What if computers understood the text of privacy policies? Here we've shown that it is actually possible to develop machine learning and natural language processing techniques that do just that. We're using these techniques to develop more effective ways to communicate the content of privacy policies to users. This includes developing more personalized interfaces that highlight those statements that are most likely to be of interest to them. We're also developing question answering functionality. The idea here is that rather than attempting to summarize the content of a privacy policy in a one-size-fits-all manner, perhaps we can just allow people to ask questions about what they care about and answer these questions. Once you understand the text of privacy policies, you can also develop tools to help developers and even regulators. For instance, we've built a tool to automatically check mobile apps for potential compliance issues by looking at both the text of these privacy policies and their code. Another fundamental challenge in privacy is that people have diverse preferences. One-size-fits-all models and laws often do not work. Instead, it is important that people be given choices. The challenge, however, is that few people, if any, have the time to configure all the privacy settings on their smartphones, in their browsers, or in their Facebook accounts. So we've asked ourselves another question. Could computers actually learn a person's privacy preferences and help them make privacy decisions? As it turns out, while people's privacy preferences are diverse, it is often possible to predict many of these preferences based on a relatively limited amount of information. We're exploring different ways of using this finding to develop what we call personalized privacy assistance. The idea here is that these assistants could learn enough about our expectations and preferences to selectively notify us about practices we care about and to help us configure all these settings we don't have the time to individually configure ourselves. One area where we've been quite successful here is privacy settings for mobile apps. Back in February of 2017, we released a first personalized privacy assistant to help users configure the privacy permissions on their smartphones. As we develop tools to help people manage their privacy, we need to also worry about complex cognitive and behavioral biases. Privacy decisions are often prone to such biases, with people discounting what they often perceive as vague, long-term privacy risks in favor of short-term rewards, such as being able to use an app on their smartphone. Our research in this area has included experimenting with what we call privacy nudges. These are interventions designed to prompt users to carefully reflect on and or revisit some of their privacy decisions. Privacy is critical to who we are as autonomous beings, and as recent events have illustrated, it is critical to our democracy. It is also challenging because it touches on our attitudes as individuals and as a society towards increasingly complex technologies. It's a new research area at the intersection of technology, business, and policy that is crying for new solutions and new insights. Members of my group have developed technologies that have been successfully commercialized, some used by millions of users. We've developed technologies to help companies, developers, regulators, and our research is often influencing ongoing public policy discussions. Privacy is a truly exciting area for computer science research, with unique opportunities for having an impact on society.